and welcome to hurricane prep video number one this is about all your essentials that you need during a hurricane have i ever been through a hurricane no so i'm just talking out of my ass but that's okay listen up okay so my entire apartment is a mess um first of all you know you never know who you're going to meet during a hurricane so you're going to need some extra toothbrushes in case the power goes out and you can't use your electric one get some of those um i think i got these at walmart at the dollar store with some regular Colgate. I don't like Crest. I know half of y'all probably do. Most of y'all probably do. I'm actually a Aquafresh user. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of fancy. You know, make sure you get that. Make sure you get some batteries. Um, this little lantern, that's cute. Oh wow, that's bright as hell. Um, oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, I also have a lighter, um, but I do have like regular lighters that I have in my apartment anyway, including a multi-pack. Of course, if the power goes out, you might not be able to do laundry. So I've got a lot of paper towels. That's actually just my usual stock. And then I have some extras down here. Um, still on the subject of paper towels my friends sometimes call me ghetto bougie and then some people ask what's ghetto bougie well i use paper towels in my house i don't use hand towels i'm ghetto but i'm bougie so they're bounty i use the quicker picker upper i'm ghetto bougie um you're gonna be thirsty especially if the water is off so for all y'all thirsty people i've got a lot of water i've got two jugs here i've got about 10 jugs up there I've got a 40-pack of bottles, another 40-pack of bottles. I've got some Mandarin Orange Splash. I've got some Coke Zero. Um, really don't think I have anything in my fridge except some sparkling lemon lime seltzer. Um, that coconut went bad. And some Miller Lite. Um, oh, and some Corona. And actually, I keep an additional stash in my closet. Um, that's where I have a lot of room in my bedroom. So I actually have some water stashed in there. Again, it's a mess. Oh, look at my face. Um, yeah, so I've got some water stashed in here. And actually, you know, just in case there's an apocalypse and something happens, I have an additional spring water wrapped up, you know, so it's safe from dirt and all that crap. And I'm not sure if I showed during um, the video earlier, but I've got some rope. You know, if y'all want to get a little kinky during the hurricane, you can do that as well. Um, but if you get stranded somewhere, you know, take the rope and rope yourself out. Um, it's also good to have a safety whistle. Um, getting back to the ghetto bougie, you know, I've got my safety whistle, but you know damn well that if I'm going to be stranded, I'm going to look good. So I'm going to get my hair cut before the hurricane rolls in, get my eyebrows done, um, and my whistle is Louis Vuitton just in case I get stranded somewhere and, you know, my husband's waiting for me. <laughs> um, I've got a huge collection of Germex. I don't want anybody to touch me, especially if the water is off, um, especially if I don't have any hot water to kill the germs. I don't want y'all using soap and cold water. Use some hand sanitizer to sanitize your crappy hands. And of course, I've got a lot of um, canned goods, you know, in case my power goes out. I will be eating cold soup. I don't have any way to warm it up unless I literally hold it over a candle because I don't have a warming plate. Um, I've got a lot of cookies and a lot of chips. These are my favorite donuts. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I actually have a mini version of this kit in my car, just in case I get stranded somewhere in my car as well. Um, I've always got bungee cords in my car I think I've got a little blanket in there as well, toothbrush, toothpaste, in case I get stranded at work, of course, some toilet paper, just in case, you know, people just go crazy and steal it all at work or at any store that I'm at during the um, pandemic. 